Hey everybody in YouTube land. So I got a quick review for you today of a knife that I'm pretty excited about getting. I saw it when it first was on pre-order, but of course, probably like a lot of people either I didn't have the money or um, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to a knife that's, you know, I hadn't really held or felt. So again, like a lot of people, I probably ended up overpaying on the secondary market, but I'm super excited about this thing. Um, so today we have the Urban East EDC Special Edition F5.5. So this is the titanium version uh, with, man, I'm not even gonna try to say that. Um, it's one of my favorite patterns, so it's embarrassing I can't say it, but uh, Sega High maybe, or Segia, and I don't know, that w awesome wave pattern that you're seeing sometimes on different materials. Um, this is M390 blade with a satin finish designed by Jesper Voxnes. And hopefully I'm not butchering his name either. Um, so yeah, so let's check it out. I got a zipper case. Now I bought it secondary, so you know, did it come with stickers or paperwork or anything? Man, I don't know. But I know that it comes with a knife and that's all I really care about. Let's see. Oh man, this thing is nice. Man. Get a closer look on this guy. I just, I don't know, I'm just a huge fan of that pattern. It just is really nice and elegant looking. It really, I don't know if you could really pull it off on every single knife, but this knife just has some nice lines to it anyway. You can kind of see we've got pretty thick stock on this guy. I mean, it's not crazy, but you know, look at that blade. So super nice that's awesome action oh, that blade looks fantastic so you can see they've got the designation in here hopefully you can see that in there it's m390 it's definitely nice i've seen a couple of versions of this uh, the brass version looks fantastic um if i was Gonna get a second one, I definitely would go for the brass version. It looks really nice, and I bet the patina over time would just be crazy sick. But this is just, you know, it's hard to say whenever you're looking at a knife online, am I gonna like that, or is it for me? This thing just feels awesomely perfect. Um, I usually wear like a, a large or extra large glove, large glove. can't talk today. Uh, so my hands aren't crazy huge, but they're not small either. And, you know, I've got a nice purchase, even using the, the indexed indent right there. Um, got a nice purchase on it. Still got a little bit of the knife down there. And you got a nice jimping right there too, right where you're going to be too. Sometimes the jimping is not really in a great place, but it really is on this one for if you're trying to, I guess, get, use a tip for some cuts or some hard cutting use. Um, I don't know, to be honest, how hard cutting use I would use this only because it's just such a great looking knife. Um, you're almost crossing over into art with this guy. Um, but definitely something I'll use, don't get me wrong. I use all my knives, some more than others. Kind of weird how chunky everything is on the knife. The, you know, blade stock's pretty thick. Um, you know, the scales are they're not super thick but they're pretty thick but then you look at the lock bar me mechanism on this guy and it just looks tiny it kind of reminds me of uh the blades on like a little eyebrow shaver or something the, the one nice thing though is that it's it's not difficult to depress i mean it's not going to go anywhere when you're using it but it isn't hard to push out of the way like some um the McNeese knights it kind of locks up a little bit on the on the stop there and this one does not it's it's thin enough that it just is really nice to push away it's very easy um, this is also a super drop shut blade it's nice you can see that it's just lined up perfectly it's nicely centered um, the hole is nice too it doesn't really grab onto anything it's not sharp you know it's rounded you can kind of see there's some chamfering around that, that reflection there and let you know that it's been chamfered so that it's smooth and it's a nice touch 
be easy just to leave that blade stock and be sharp and annoying whenever you're trying to open it, but it definitely isn't on this knife. It's pretty nice. Um, I mean, you gotta kinda, again, flick it out. You know, it's not, some knives you flick up, right? This one you gotta kinda flick out um, away a little bit in order to get that nice, satisfying flick. And you can hear it too. It definitely has that satisfying sound. Um, you know, I always call it the Wolverine sound. That kind of snicked whenever the blade comes out. Uh, nice, solid feeling. Um, I just kind of can't get over how awesome looking the knife is. Just proportions and the way everything's designed. This is just a really nice knife. Something that you could carry with you and use, but also something that, you know, you'd feel good about. The heft isn't too much, but it is enough to let you know that you have a quality instrument. But, uh... Let's take a look at this guy and see what it looks like compared to others. So, it's a, a Spyderco Delica 4 here. Let's see, here's a bug out. Let's see, I got a mini bug out here. Here's a banter. So you kind of see you know, uh, probably size-wise, it's a little bit closer to a mini bug out, but I don't know when you've got this little lanyard whole piece that kind of makes a little bit longer. So lengthwise, hard to say, kind of in between all those. Uh, maybe the banter is a little bit closer. Yeah, so a little bit shorter. And then let's see, you got a, here's a small Sabenza. I guess the smallest bends is closest, so. You kind of see those two are almost identical in size, really, as far as length, but you can see that this 5.5 is a, is a big boy. He's a bit girthy, even compared to the Banner, which is a, a girthy knife for its size, so. Um, it definitely is substantial in the hand, which is nice, because it's not something that you're kind of wrapping your fingers around three times, you know, trying to get purchase on it. Now, if you have smaller hands, I'm not sure what that would look like. It's still, I don't think, so big that you wouldn't be able to really handle it or anything like that. I mean, it's it's still a good size knife, but not too big to be overpowering. Um, but you know that sound that you get, you know, different knives kind of give you different sounds, right? So you can hear, I think, sometimes it's a quality sound, right? When you open up, say, like, you know, a, a mini bug out, right? So this is, and I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's not G10, so I forget what Benchmade calls it. It's basically plastic. Let's just call it what it is. Uh, I'm sure it's some strong, you know, space-age polymer. But at the end of the day, it's still plastic, right? And I love this knife. Don't get me wrong. But when you open it, it does have a sound, and it, it's a nice sound. Sometimes it's nicer than others. But... It's a little kind of hollow sounding and I guess plasticky because you know, the sound's reverberating, you know, through these scales or bouncing off of it, you know, but when you open something like, let's say the banter, right? These scales are a little bit nicer, I think, than, than the bug out scales, but I think it has to do with the metal and the construction. You definitely get a much more satisfying sound out of that. But then when you open something like this, if I can, the sound is just a lot different. It's a much more satisfying sound. It's the sound you kind of expect. Man, I'm gonna have to practice opening this thing, I guess. Um, I gotta still flick it out. But the sound on it is just so satisfying. Um, just like the banter, that's what, one of the things I like best about the banter, probably. I like how thick it is and small, but when you flick it open, you definitely get that satisfying sound. That's probably enough about sound, but it definitely makes for part of the experience, for sure, for me. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time just to say that, you know, obviously this is kind of first impressions, right? I have a more narrowed down feeling once I've carried it for a while, but I am super excited about this, uh, about being able to get it um, and to carry it. And it definitely makes me want that brass version. Look at that nice jumping on the spacer too. 
it's definitely nice. Yeah, the whole spacer with the integrated lanyard hole there, it's really nice. I guess the pocket clip probably is worth mentioning. It definitely looks similar to pocket clips you've kind of seen before, um, and that's nice. Uh, you know, it, it definitely, it's a little bit thicker than some of the other ones, but the design of it is definitely nice. You know it's going to stay where it's going. It's not going to tear up your pants or anything trying to get in there. Um, that's definitely nice. I'm looking forward to carrying this guy and kind of seeing what M390 is about. This is my first M390 knife, so I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and listening to me babble on about it. If you guys like this kind of content, uh, like and subscribe definitely helps out, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Hope you have a great day.